Hey everyone, how's it going today? Uh, today I'm going to be talking about defeating the Grafted Psyot, which is uh, the first boss you run into before uh, starting your journey. So uh, you're going to want to choose the uh, Samurai because he gets the bow. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with the... I mean, you, you could go with the Crimson Amber Medallion for a little bit of extra health, but I'm going to go with the Golden Seed for the extra shard when I start the game. But um, yeah, the... Samurai gets the bow, plenty of arrows to defeat the Grafted Scion, as well as uh, he has Mighty Shot. You know, so that uh, deals a little bit of extra damage when firing those bows at this uh, monstrosity of a fucking boss. Now, uh, I don't think you were supposed to beat this thing, but we're gonna do it anyways. Wait for this to load here. We're gonna skip past all this. The fallen leaf. I'm sure you don't want to see it for like the millionth time. Alright, so let's grab this uh, finger real quick. So before we get started on our treacherous journey, we're gonna remove a little bit of equipment here and uh, move the bow to our right arm if you want. It's up to you. I'm gonna switch my uh, bows, my uh, arrows as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the sword. You can, I mean, you can keep yours on if you want to get a couple extra hits on him or. You know, play a little bit more offensive, but I'm gonna try to play a little defensive and just stick to the bow this time. I'm gonna remove my uh, armor, my helmet, and my arms because uh, I'll be able to roll easily, quick roll, if I have all of that stuff off. So here I was just checking my uh, equip load, and I decided to just go without it. to roll off the map there. So uh, in order to charge your mighty shot, you're going to hold L2, which is uh, your uh, right trigger if you're on Xbox. I mean left trigger, sorry. And get that shot ready to go right as soon as he lands. You're gonna want to create some distance from this guy. And just try to get as many mighty shots on him with the distance as you can. But uh, just do keep in mind that every time you fire up mighty shots, your uh, that blue bar is gonna go down. definitely going to want to create as much distance as you can from this guy as possible because he will take you out in uh, two strikes, no doubt. His, his moves are pretty repetitive. If you die though, you will have to uh, start a new game again. possible to uh, to roll around him and learn his moves and kill him with just the sword as well. You know, I was just trying to show a surefire technique of doing it. Now you see he like literally almost killed me with just that one hit. And I 
just ran out of Mighty Shard. So I'm gonna try to create as much distance as I can now. Just, now that I don't have Mighty Shots, I'll be firing more bows, more uh, arrows at him. <laughs> but I am running pretty low. And this guy still has quite a bit of health. And, uh, as you saw earlier, I unequipped my sword, so I don't want to have to get into the situation where I have to go into my inventory mid-fight to equip my sword. But, you know, if I have to, I will. shots count so I want to try to charge them up as much as I can and make sure he's not holding up his shield when I fire them now anytime this thing is moving at you man you're gonna want to start moving out of the way because it's fast and it will mess you up in one bit I like to take advantage when it's charging up with swords to get a couple shots in as well. And uh, just so you know, you can fall off this map pretty easily for this area of the map. So I'm gonna try to that as well. Here I noticed I'm running pretty low on arrows, only got three shots left, so I really want to make these count. One shot left. Barely, barely escaped by. And there you go, ornamental straight sword and the golden beast crest shield. Which, you know, you can equip those, uh, I think, believe I believe right away. And, um... Also, I uh, stopped the clip almost instantly because I got so excited, but if, as soon as you go through, you're going to see a tree, and you're going to want to grab those butterflies that are fluttering in front of that tree because that is a, a rare material in the game. It, it says so in the description. It says it's an exceedingly rare material. And uh, another thing that I noticed also as well is when I was uh, running down the bridge and I reached the end when uh, the, the bridge crumbles, and you fall to your death, which, uh, by the way, you uh, get to keep the uh, 3200 runes you get from defeating the Grafted Scion. They don't uh, disappear. They'll go with you. Uh, but but as, as the bridge is crumbling, um, I, I noticed the words uh, to collect materials, and it, and it had the action to push triangle. Now, I wasn't quick enough. I didn't do it. So I don't know if anything actually happens or if it's just a glitch, but... I don't know, maybe you guys want to try it out and uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, also, if you found this video helpful, uh, please uh, leave a like and uh, comment, subscribe, do whatever. Thank you. Have a good day.